Hi again, my name is Liren Baker. I am the creator of the site Kitchen Confidant and author of Meat to the Side. I am so pleased to introduce Chef Martin Yan as a culinary master chef, food consultant, chef instructor, prolific author, and a true pioneer in Chinese and Asian cooking programs on television. Chef Martin Yan has been teaching the world to cook with his James Beard award-winning show, Yan King Cook, as well as through his gourmet tours, his flagship restaurant, MY China, and as a motivational speaker. I am especially pleased to welcome my childhood hero. Welcome, Chef. Welcome, and I'm honored to be here to share the stage with all the luminary, all the wonderful culinary professionals. Oh my God. I'm um, to be here. Well, I used to watch your show every day after school, so I am so excited to finally chat with you. I would really like to know very quickly, when did you first show an interest in Cooking Chef? Well, I was, um, I was born into a restaurant a family. My father had a had a restaurant. My mother has a grocery store in Guangzhou, China. When I was before even I was born, and then later on, I kind of when I was growing up, I actually hang around the restaurant and the grocery store. So I was pretty much interested and in knowing a lot of the different seasoning and different ingredients, things that are even a, a lot of adult probably never seen because I hang around the uh, the store and the restaurant. And then I have to ask, just because you have the most amazing knife skills, when did you first pick up a knife? <laughs> well, I left I left uh, China when I was pretty young, uh, around in the tender age of 13, 14. And then I went to Hong Kong and I actually lived. And I went to high school and I actually lived in a, uh, my distant uncle's restaurant. So I always, always tried to use the, the knife to help them out and work and, and as a backup a chef, uh, a, a sous chef and a, a kitchen assistant and, and, and learn how to bone the chicken, cut up all kinds of stuff. So, you know, it's just a skill, just like any Japanese sushi chef, any tennis player. Once you pick up a knife enough time and long enough, then you become proficient. <laughs> well, hopefully one day I'll get as proficient as you. Well, chef, can you tell us a little bit more about the dish that you're preparing today? Well, you know, I'm honored to, uh, to be uh, sharing with everybody how wonderful it is to have a plant-based diet as well as cooking with induction burner. The reason why we do it is because a lot of people don't realize in Asia, in Japan, in Korea, India, and many parts of China and Taiwan, many Asian cuisine, actually plant-based diet are very, very much a common practice. In fact, in my daily diet, I cook a lot of vegetable. So even though I eat other things, but mainly, my diet is a plant-based diet. So I think the reason why I've been eating that is because, you know, in our body, first of all, we don't need that much meat protein. We need a lot of protein, but it can be plant protein, okay? Plant-based products available everywhere is, and also when you have plant-based product and use a lot of ingredient, basically you lower the carbon footprint and the environmental friendly and also less pollution, okay? and now people chop up all the all the forests and this and that to plant other things and to raise cattle. Now you can eliminate the problem of deforestation. And also we eat healthier. And that's the reason why today I'm going to show you how to do something. OK, this is noodle. This is a plant based noodle. This is basically made with wheat, flour and water. Right. Very, very. This is the actual noodle. You can buy them fresh or frozen or dry. And I cook them, I cook them up and let it fluff it. And then I'll pan fry this. I will pan fry this right here. And I pan fry this and I use this wonderful, wonderful induction burner. I pan fry this, look at that. From here, you can tell this, from these boiled noodle, okay? plant based, made with Sometimes soba noodle, you can use soba noodle, you can use a uh, uh, wheat flour noodle. And I pan fry this into the frying pan right here, okay? Until the golden brown, Knight this on both sides. Golden brown on both sides like this, okay? Then I set it aside, okay? I set this aside, put it right here. And then I'm gonna show everybody the ingredient that I use. This is very, very good ingredient, let me tell you. 
here and go through quickly go through this the main ingredient of this is basically i'm gonna shut this up a little bit okay good chef a really quick question from the audience yes. what kind of yes. oil did you use to pan fry the noodles i use uh, vegetable oil in fact i use this is a uh, very healthy oil the camellia tea seed oil it's also plant-based tea seed oil you can use olive oil you can oh. use any of these this is very very healthy and it's a lot of antioxidant that's the reason why you got to cook healthy you got to eat healthy okay we use oil pan fried it just enough heat up your frying pan best to use a non-stick frying pan and pan fried on both sides and once when once i do that i would actually let me show you quickly once i do that i can actually slide this over here this is pan fried this is noodle pan fried look at that i basically toss this noodle and press it and into from a little noodle pancake into a noodle bowl like there's an amount of noodle and i'll set aside and i'm going to use this and put my stir fried vegetable right on top so this is basically a one dish meal okay so the next thing i will show you and some you of the probably use, hmm? you could probably use leftover noodles right if you have oh, any leftovers from definitely. another dish this is the noodle leftover okay from last time so i basically boil it up boil it then we have boiled noodle and once you do that you can put this in noodle soup never waste anything in asia never waste anything because this food is precious in asia so that's why we never waste anything so we can use this to do fry noodle noodle soup with all kind of stuff now the ingredient we use vegetarian I have shiitake mushroom, okay? If you have, you can also get dry mushroom, and let it soak. Dry mushroom, dry shiitake mushroom, and then celery. Celery is really, really healthy. It's really good and give that wonderful uh, uh, aroma and taste and texture. And of course, you, if you happen to have carrot, this is a little half a piece of carrot. I use half a piece of carrot. And then this is leftover cabbage I have. This is the head cabbage and done. Now, this is interesting. There are two things that are interesting that I put it in. This is cloud ear or cold wood ear. Look at that. You can buy them fresh or you can buy them dry. You can soak them and then you can basically slide them. Ah, oh, now this is important. You go to the Asian store or sometimes regular store. You can buy some pressed bean curd. This is pressed bean curd. It looks like this inside when you cut it open it looks like this okay this is pressed bean curd when you use the pressed bean curd you can buy this marinated pressed bean curd in asian store once you get it you can put it in the fridge or you can actually keep it in the freezer when you use this this is how you do it i slice this into thin slices like this look at that i slice it one i cut it from the top i cut one one slice and then i cut another slice knife have to be sharp and i cut another slice look at that and i cut another slice and then another slice okay look at that and then i have all of these slices and i line them all up like this okay i line them all up like this and then i use my knife to go Two quick questions. Can we use rice noodles instead of the wheat? Uh, you can, uh, no, that's different. Uh, rice noodle, you use it for soup, for things, um, uh, uh, the different texture. You can use rice noodle because, particularly if you have gluten uh, allergy, you use rice noodle. Okay, Rice noodle is available in a lot of places. I slice it and then I also slice some of these wood ear or cloud ear. I put and it all together. And then the question for that, the cow, that is a mushroom, right? Not a seaweed. Yeah, this is actually a mushroom. Okay. It, in Chinese, it's called cloud ear because it looks like an elephant ear. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like an ear. That's the reason why they call cloud. It's actually black mushroom. It's a fungus. The fungus is very good. There are all kind of mushroom. We should eat more mushroom. The Chinese restaurant use a lot of different variety of mushroom. And then we will put it over here. And then shiitake mushroom. This is also mushroom. I shredded it, so this is how I do it. I slice it at this angle. I slice it here and cut it in half. Looks like this, you see? Then I go, you see? Slice it up, and then this is fresh shiitake mushroom. If you 
happen to have dry shiitake mushroom, you soak them. You soak, soak them up until they soften. You stack them all up, you stack them all up, and then you slice it like this. Look at how fast you can do it. All yeah. done. Do you prefer the flavor of dried or fresh? Oh, definitely, definitely. I favor uh, definitely like that. And then in the meantime, I'm going to show you quickly how to do this dish. And it's very, very simple, okay? I cut this up. I cut all of these up already. And then I'm going to stir fry this. Basically, I use a time for oil. Now, you notice that I use an induction burner right here. Why? Because it's safer. It's efficient. As soon as you put it on, it is heavy. And then if you have a bigger pot, it heats up the whole pot. If you have a smaller pot, only heat up the bottom. So it is very, very, um, it's transferred directly. The heat transferred directly to your cookware. Waste nothing. Very, very efficient. Environmentally sound. That's the reason why. There's also no open frame. That is very, very safe. And then also, because of that, better air quality, okay? Precise control. That's the reason why. Control the temperature. Now I heat this up and I put this over here. Look at that. Beautiful. And then I stir fry this. And if you want to have flavor, when you do vegetarian, you got to have flavor. Garlic. I press the garlic, okay? I have a little press of garlic here and I crush it and I go chop it up. And then the same thing with ginger. I have a piece of ginger here. I go, <laughs> one piece of ginger, another piece of ginger. <laughs> Once all done like this, very simple. And I put this over here, and then I will put all these ingredients over here. Carrot takes longer. Cabbage takes longer to cook. And then mushroom, okay? And then shredded, wonderful, crusting curd. Cloud ear, put it in. Celery, put it in, and all you have to do is stir fry this. And I'll show you how efficient this is. The good thing about induction burners is as, as long as you lift it up, it is connected. If you put it back, it immediately heats up. That's the reason why. I put a tiny bit of soy sauce. Look at that. Soy sauce is also plant based. Soy sauce. A tiny bit of sesame seed oil, also plant based. That's the key. Oh, look at that. We have a quick question from Diana asking if we have to have special pots and pans with induction. Oh yeah, you have to have a pan, have a bottom. Let me show you the bottom, the pan of the bottom. It has to have metal. But nowadays, when you buy, might buy most of those, they are normally induction friendly. You see, you've got a regular pan, has to have metal, iron. Yeah. Oh, Diana, and, a really good tip that I use is if I want to see if my pan will work for induction, I just put a magnet on the bottom of my pan, and if it sticks... Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. It's very, very um, easy. Okay, now we'll make a sauce, okay? Let me see, make a sauce. How are you going to make a sauce? Because I want to make a sauce. Now, for pan base, you can have, go to the store and buy vegetarian stir fry sauce available vegetarian stir fry sauce in most stores so everything is vegetarian and then i put some vegetarian stir fry sauce right here it's going to be delicious a lot of the a lot of people don't realize plant-based vegetable ingredients can be very delicious you have different color contrast flavor contrast when this is all nice and done i will they can this up with time with cornstarch. So everything I do today is vegetarian. And then I'll make a special sauce by thickening it with a tiny bit of cornstarch solution. And then when I serve, this is how amazing. Look, look at how beautiful this is. Very, very good. The wing, the wonderful thing about this is it is has texture contrast and it tastes good and everything is done. And I will show you how easy it is to serve this and make it even more. Now, I have this noodle here. I shut this off, and I show you how beautiful this is. I put this vegetable on the side. Look at that. So I don't want to cover all my noodle. So this is how beautiful this is. Look at that. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? This is so beautiful. Chef, and this, a quick question. Is your pan, are your pans both nonstick? Yeah, this is nonstick, but you do not have to use nonstick anyway. This is so beautiful. Now, 
to make it even more wonderful, let me show you, to make it even more wonderful, I use, in California, we're blessed with all these wonderful things, pistachio nut, total protein, just as meat and chicken. I eat this as a snack, I also use it. I literally make it interesting. I crush the pistachio nut right here, and I sprinkle it on top to enhance the texture contrast. And then, this is beautiful. And then I make it even more. So this way, all of a sudden, you have a beautiful, delicious, plant-based, shredded vegetable over crispy noodle. And this dish, it is totally plant-based. Now, for more recipe, you know, in my cookbook, I always have a lot of vegetarian dishes, a lot of vegetable dishes. You can check out the this, okay, right here, yankingcook.com. For more recipe and cooking tips, this is the QR code that you can. And then this one of my cookbook, Martin Yen's Quick and Easy. This is my favorite book, Martin Yen's Feast. We won the cookbook award of the year in the World Book uh, uh, Conference. But anyway, I want to show you in any kitchen, the most important thing is not only the frying pan, but the knife. And this is the knife that I use, I have designed. I want to show you how sharp this knife is, okay? This is, you can tell how sharp this knife is. Look at, look at, okay? A sharp knife is a safe knife. This is how you test your knife. Sharp one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is how you test your knife is sharp or not. Look at that. Can you see that? Now, just in case you have never, never used a Chinese chef knife before, don't worry. I come up with this wonderful finger guard right here. And when you use the finger guard, let me show you how easy it is. You put your finger here inside. So when you cut, you protect your finger. Look at that. That's so smart. So. How this often do you really, sharpen your knives? Uh, we don't have to sharpen the knife that much. Basically, what you normally do is, let me show you quickly. When you sharpen your knife, all you have to use is use a steel. I happen to have a diamond sharpening steel here. See, this is diamond sharpening steel. It's flat, so I want to show you how easy it is. Normally, it's round. Normally, the, stick, the sharpening steel is round, and it's steel. It, it does not really sharpen your knife. It only hone your knife, but this is diamond. Look at that. This is diamond. I actually sharpen my knife. One, two, three. I can literally sharpen my knife. This is diamond sharpening steel. Let me show you how sharp this is, okay? Now, I put a piece of paper right here. And when I slice it, you can see one and the two is how sharp this is. A sharp knife is a safe knife. If anybody interested, you can always check out our website and I will autograph the cookbook and I'm quite sure everybody today I have basically show you this look at look at this. this is why I'm asking you any question look at this this is crispy noodle pancake with vegetarian and pistachio nut very full of protein a lot of vegetable a lot of nutrient a lot of new basically one dish meal filled with nutrient anybody have any question does anyone have a question for Chef? I love the, all the texture and, and flavors that are in that dish. The pistachios were a really nice surprise. Not only flavorful. You think the great the thing is, you know, for just in case you, you want to have some questions, just all you have to do is send it to yankingcook.com and ask some questions. And for cooking tips and more recipes, I'll be happy to answer for you. Thank you, Chef. Um, let's see it. I'm just checking to see if there's any other question. I have a really quick question. Um, what, what are your family holiday? Oh, pan recommendations. Someone's asking. Okay. Any pan recommendations? Pen, the pen, pen, pen recommendation. Mm -hmm. I use, uh, the, the, the um, I use the, uh, 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 there are a lot of uh, things available. This is a circulon. You can use anulon, circulon, or any of the non-stick if you make making noodle pancake. But if you have a nice, well-seasoned um, cast iron 
pan or kerosene, it's okay too. It doesn't matter. But this one, it makes it easier. You can use a lot less oil. And that's the reason why I use good quality non-stick. And if you don't have a non-stick, you can use a well-seasoned wok, a well-seasoned um, skillet or frying pan. Anything we do, just make sure the high temperature and short time is sears the meat, and then you end up having a dish look so beautiful. Look at that. This is the dish that you're good. Well, thank you so much, Chef. I need to run to my next session, but if, uh, and to answer Katrin's question, a wok will work with an induction burner. Um, Definitely. If anyone, uh, and if I anyone has any other questions, put it in the chat, please. I've been using induction burner for many, many years. I mean, my, all my presentation, I use induction burner. So it just saved the world, saved the uh, mother nature. It is environmental friendly. Take down all the um, uh, carbon um, uh, footprints. That's very good to use induction burner, induction cooktop. Thank you so much, Chef. Have a great You're rest welcome. of your day. Enjoy the rest of the session.